Which you guys, today we'll take a look at a new Windows 11 feature that changes everything. It's a really good feature that Microsoft have added to Windows 11 in 23H2. So I've got 23H2 here, which is the very latest release of Windows. And Microsoft have gone and added a really useful feature, I think, for a lot of people that don't like reinstalling Windows when they get a major problem like software issues or maybe some sort of bug with the operating system or maybe they're suffering from malware or virus attacks or maybe they've got some sort of errors on their system and they now are forced to reinstall Windows. So let's take a look at this new feature. Inside the settings here, once you're in system, come down to the recovery area. Inside here, this has had a, a big major change inside here. You can now see we have a couple of areas which says fix uh, problems without reinstalling your PC. These are the troubleshooters that have been around for quite some time with Windows, but they've sort of put them into a nice area where you can find them easily. So here is your basic troubleshooters for your audio, your network, and a bunch of other stuff inside here like Windows updates and things like that. I don't have much success using these troubleshooting tools, but they have fixed things in the past, but it's not very often that they fix some of your most common issues like audio, uh, networking, and also Bluetooth. But again, some people might have had a different experience with it. The new feature is this fix problems using Windows updates. This is a really good uh, fix for a lot of people because it says reinstall now. When you click on this one right here, you will see this little box popping up. And this is fixed problems using Windows updates. We'll repair components and system files. If your repair solution is available, we'll attempt to fix the system component corruption by reinstalling the current version of Windows. Your apps, your documents, and your settings will be preserved, which is a really good sign because a lot of people hate losing their apps during an installation. Please make sure your PC is on and you're connected to the network and have a good power source after installation. We'll let you know when the time is right to restart your PC to complete the repair. Automatically restart if you check mark the box. So what is this actually doing? Well, it's gonna go off to the Microsoft servers and see if there is a update available for you to download, which is the latest version of Windows, which will then be called a repair version. It will start downloading this and put it on your PC and start to install it. But what is it going to do? Well, this is what we call a repair install or an in-place repair or an in-place upgrade. So what happens is it's gonna download the very latest version available, and then it's gonna install it over the top of your current installation while preserving all of your apps, your games, your files, your settings. And once it's done, it's basically going to give you a clean system install with all of the bugs and software issues that you might have been having on that computer hopefully they have then been resolved by doing this and this was a tried and trusted method for a lot of people for many years without having to reinstall all of the applications and everything else they've just basically added it into a little button which you click on and this will help a lot of people once you restart the system you'll see a black screen looking like this and basically what this is going to do is go off and start to update all of the system and try to preserve all of your system files now remember it's important that you do have space on your drive if you've got a drive that is full it's not going to be able to complete this process because it needs to have a bit of space to back up all of your data too so make sure your drive is not completely 100 percent full and once it's done, it's going to keep restarting a few times and you will then see the updates going onto the system right here. Now, so at this point, I would like to say to you that it's always important to back up your own data. Microsoft are not responsible for your data. So if you rely on Microsoft to save all of your data on this computer while it's going through a repair install process like we're seeing right here, then basically you are uh, responsible for your own data. If something went wrong during this process and it couldn't complete and it tried to roll back or it tried to uh, fix the situation and it couldn't and you ended up losing all your data, that would be your responsibility. 
Microsoft are not going to help you in any way, shape or form. And that is why I always say to people, if you're going to carry out a task like this, it's important that you make sure you back up all of your data. You can see here we're going through the installation and setup phase of Windows. And this is what it's doing to your computer. It's basically going to fix a lot of problems. And this is a really good plus sign for a lot of people that don't want to go through and do a fresh clean install where we have to create a bootable USB flash drive, boot to that flash drive, and then completely erase everything on the drive and then reinstall Windows that way and go through that method where you lose all of your programs and stuff like that. This is going to keep all your settings and your applications and everything else on the system and even your data. Now, it should go without saying that you should always have backups of your data anyway, at least three copies of it. That's the most important thing. That is the golden rule of computing. Back up, back up, back up, uh, because you never know when something can go wrong. So never rely on uh, Microsoft to back up your data in this way. So you can see it does create a Windows.old folder here, which you could gain access to and get stuff from if you needed to. But again, uh, this is not a backup solution. But you can see Windows.old there is there. So it has created that folder for you. You can delete it at any stage you wish. And again, once we've done this, once you go back into the system and then into recovery, this should now be reset back to the way it was, where you can then click on this again. If you have further issues down the line, uh, this will also be a good safety net for people because most people don't like reinstalling Windows at the best of times. So this is another good added feature for Windows 11. Now, also, this feature is fantastic for people that want to try to uh, reinstall Windows without a bootable USB drive. Some people don't have a bootable USB drive to hand and they don't want to reinstall Windows. This way, you can use this method, which is quite useful to use. Uh, but basically, it's a pretty good little feature, if you ask me. And uh, kudos for Microsoft for adding this into the actual uh, system with one little button install. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three, it doesn't matter. I really appreciate it. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.